Hi, I'm Dr. Cheryl Villamor Sibayan, an OBGYN physician. I'm a certified fellow of the Obstetrical Gynecological Society. I'm here with you to discuss my personal holistic approach to diseases. Today, I'll be discussing my holistic approach to the gynecologic problems in the reproductive age group, urinary tract infection. This is the bacterial infection of the urinary tract system which involves four organs, the kidneys and ureters in the upper urinary tract and the bladder and urethra in the lower urinary tract. However, most sterile pyuria is just due to improper collection so a repeat urinalysis must be done after washing the vulva with soap and water and then collect the middle part of the urine, the midstream catch sample. What are the causes of UTI? Most UTIs are caused by bacteria coming from the vagina or anal areas which get into the urethra then into the bladder either due to improper hygiene and cleansing of the vulva or neglected vaginal infection. Another possible cause is also sexual intercourse. Urinary tract infection may be due to the milking action of the sexual activity and you call that sex-induced UTI or honeymoon cystitis. Usually, a patient complains of terminal dysuria or suprapubic pain at the end of the urination, which approximately happens three to four days after sexual contact. Blood in the urine may also be seen. Signs and symptoms of UTI are burning on urination, frequent urination, blood in the urine, and also fever. Complication will set in only if UTI is left untreated. Bacterial infection can ascend up into the kidneys and cause acute pyelonephritis, which can be dangerous and requires hospitalization. And we have, of course, the holistic, non-conventional approach. To cure UTI is different from to heal UTI. To cure usually uses external treatments to just mask or eliminate symptoms but does not address the imbalances which are all in the mental and emotional state of the patient. However, to heal is a natural process and it is within the power of everyone. It goes deeper and always comes from within. It also addresses the imbalances that underlies the symptoms. Remember that your body is capable of self-healing but only if you are in the relaxed mode and not in the panic or fight or flight mode. Balance the four factors. Physical factors. Of course, healthy active lifestyle is a must. We all know that diet affects everything. And the urinary system and vagina follow the same rules of thumb as the rest of our body. Highly refined, high glycemic index carbohydrates can lower the population of the good bacteria in the vagina, which may lead to vaginal infection, then eventually UTI. So lessen the forms of sugary foods and drinks. For the mental, emotional, spiritual factors, the urinary bladder still belongs to the second energy center, which is still all about love, relationships, and money. According to Louise Hay, in her famous book, You Can Heal Your Life, women have more bladder problems because they are more prone to hide their hurt, especially comes from being pissed off at a partner. Now you'll understand more why women have recurrent sex-induced UTI. Pay attention more to what had happened to your life, to your moods and feelings before sex or towards your partner. UTI may be the body's way of releasing anger, according to Dr. Christian Martha in her book, Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom. So the key to have a healthy urinary bladder, urethra, and vagina is really to be able to say no if you don't feel like having sex, to be able to still enjoy your love and sex life even if you're married to your job.